Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3 dk and today I'm going to do a real quick video on how to set up the Clipper scripts I've talked about in the past, videos linked above, and how to set it up so they can be used with Cura. Um, the directions that are on the GitHub repo don't really work for, for Cura and don't let you uh, basically probe the bed for the smaller area for just the model area. So I figured out how to set things up. So it all works. And I'm just going to walk you through um, how to set that up if you're using Cura. Now I've gone ahead and called the GitHub repo up on screen. And here's the original method for setting things up so it worked in Cura. You actually had to add a whole bunch of, at least four, not a whole bunch, but a four, four different scripts to the post processing plugin. And to me, that's, you, you need to do those exactly. Now, what I found easier is I found, let me find it right here, this little plugin by uh, Frank Bags on, on GitHub that you just download one Python script, add that to the post processing, and then you're off to the races. So what I'm going to do is just show how to set this up and how to download these scripts, and set them up, and then where to add the start scripts in Cura. So you'll be good to go. So let's get started. Before you start the process, what I want you to do is open up Cura and then make sure that you have the post processing scripts uh, extension installed. So we can just go to it, modify G code. And right now I have two scripts in there. So I can access it. So that's good. Now we're going to go over and download the Python script we need to add. So I've gone back over to my repo. And all I need to do is right click on this post-processing plugin, and I'm just gonna open in a new tab. Now, you can just highlight this and create a new file, but for people that are not fam as familiar with this, that might be a little bit more difficult. So I'm just gonna go over here to this download zip, and I'm just gonna go ahead and download that to my machine. So I click download, and I'm just gonna go ahead and save that zip file to my downloads folder. And then just go over to you go over to my downloads folder here. I'm going to right click on the file and hit extract all. So I'll extract it. And if I go in this folder, here's my Python file. So now I need to move this over and put it in my scripts folder in Cura. And I'll show you how to do that. So back in Cura, you're going to go up here to help and hit show configuration folder. And then look for the scripts folder. So now I have a scripts folder, and then I'm just pasting that mesh print size.py file right here. And so I've printed it, I've pasted it in, and now I'm ready to go. So I can go ahead and close this, and then I probably want to go ahead and close and open Cura. So let me go ahead and do that. Now we've copied the script over the scripts folder. I've, op I've closed and opened Cura back up. And I'm just going to go to extensions, post processing, modify G code. Now I have a script in there for doing a time lapse. And I'm going to go ahead and add another script. So I'm going to hit add. Here is the new script I just added that mesh uh, print size. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to move that to the top. So now Cure is all ready to leverage all of those Clipper macros that I want to use. And it'll only probe the bed for the model size. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close here. And then let me go ahead and make one more configuration change in Cura. So in Cura, we're going to go to configure Cura, go to printers, and then use the printer I want to activate. In my case, it's my Creality Ender 3 V2 that's running Clipper. And I'm just going to go to machine settings. And then I want to edit this a start G code and end G code. So let's go back over to our repo and copy the code we need. Code is right here. So I'm going to hit copy, go back over to Cura. I'm just going to hit Control A to select all the code there, delete it, and then paste in my new code. And that's it for the start code. Now let's look at the repo one more time. The end code is print underscore end, and that's correct. So now I can close this, 
And when I slice this model, so I just slice it as normal, I save it to, to my disk, I can send it to my machine. And now the machine will only probe the bed around the model. It won't probe the whole bed. So it'll be much, much quicker. So that's it. That's how you configure Cura. So this tutorial was pretty short. It's just, again, focused on using the, the Clipper macros that I've shown you in the past. I'll have links in the video description, and hopefully you got something from this. I'll be honest, I'm doing things a little quicker today. I didn't have a chance to work on um, putting together this video yesterday, and today the Eagles are playing. And hopefully they win, or I may be down and out for about a week or two. Um, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP. Uh, hopefully you find this helpful. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a like or feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, I try to address every comment and, and follow any feedback. And I look forward to hearing from you. Hopefully you have a good day. Fly equals fly.